Hello you lovelies, welcome to the channel, it's Rad and after about a couple of years of break I am back with another set of videos and uh, these videos are going to be for uh, the week of 8th to 14th of April just let me make sure, yeah it is uh, from 8th to uh, 14th of April 2024 and they will refer to your star signs. Uh, this reading is going to refer to your star signs, so bear that in mind. And while you can use its information uh, to your own discretion, use it as a guidance, as advice. Uh, they may not 100% reflect to your personal situations. If you do wish me to read for your personal situations, you can always go to my website, a uh, link of which you will find in the description down below. There at the very front page you will see full list of my services and as well their pricing. And based on your budget and as well your needs, you can go for uh, whichever one suits you best. So with that said and without further ado, let's jump straight away to the videos. Pisces now and uh, Pisces. I'm going to use two systems. Now, Tarot is going to be a main course, but the first system that I'm shuffling right now is going to show us important situation or event that the Tarot reading is going to revolve around. Or in other words, here is what's going to happen, and here is how and what comes out of the happening, whether that happening is good or not, how it's going to affect you, what you can gain from it. And the happening, the situation or the event. Oh my God, that's a good one. Uh, those three cards. And you will be urged, whether through text messages or through a phone call, okay? Uh, to become a partner with a person that has resources. Okay, they are going to call you, I'm going to tell you, hey, do you want to work with me? This isn't about you even getting the job. Do you want to work together? Or do you want to be together? Do you want to move forward with life together? Where you, whether you take that proposal, whether you take that partnership or not, entirely up to you. But now Taro is going to show us, guys, what actually is going to come out of this partnership, how this partnership is going to affect you should you decide to move forward with it. My God. These are the cards. Page of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. This is an elemental dignity reading, meaning that these three cards, cards they do form a solid cumulative message. They are not read card by card. Um, I don't know where to begin from even. Mm. All right, so first of all, this person who is going to call you, right, you're going to receive the call from, they don't need to do it, right? They don't need to do it in a, in a term of uh, a material reason, right? They don't have anything to gain from that in a material way like they don't want to they don't want your money they don't want your job they don't want uh your resources they do have i already said that just from the lenormand cards but they do they do have enough of a resources and then you may think of why they're calling them i don't want to say they love you that person loves you they have an emotional attachment with you it doesn't have to be a romantic one okay they may have the emotional attachment mother to a child right 
or uh, a cousin to a cousin, nephew to a niece, uh, or, <clears throat> or uncle to a niece, uncle to a nephew, and whatnot, right? A person could kind of like have you as their little brother or their little sister and, and so on and so forth, but they do have an emotional connection to you. And they're willing to change their lifestyle for you, to fit you in, because their lifestyle is very, very, very busy, okay, very busy. And uh, because we do have that thing here, all right, this, by the way, this that we have, Page of Pentacles and the Knight and the King of Wands signifies the sacrifice. Or in other words, they don't need to offer you this, all right? They don't need to offer you that partnership. They do have enough. They can follow their ambition without you. That's no problem for them, but they want you to be a part of it. Right? They want you to be a part of it because for one that will resolve a lot of your mundane issue. We're not talking about the big problems that you're facing, okay? But the mon mundane ones that everyone faces day to day, like having a time to kill and, uh, <clears throat> or being depressed if you are and, and so on and so forth. And this is going to resolve these problems for them as well. I mean, that partnership. And that is the only thing that they gain thus far. Now, in the future, they may gain a lot from this partnership, but for now, that is what they gain, right? And the other thing that they do gain, if you do decide to, to say yes to this partnership as well, is devotion. They know that you are going to be super devoted to them as they are going to be super devoted to you as well. And for them, no matter what anyone else says, for them, this partnership is worth it. And make no mistake here, their friends, their business partners, their family members see you as an underdog, right? Not they though. They don't see you as an underdog. They just see you as a someone who, let's say, didn't have that much luck in life as they did and they want to share some good fortune with you thus far. And they deem that partnership worth their while. Okay, so long story short here, when you get that call or the, that text message with invitation to be partner in this, you will have to think very, very hard, even uh, pulling out arguments from your bottom to have one that will justify you denying it. There, there simply is not going to be any reason under the sun for you to deny it. And all of the reasons to take on this partnership. Well, the guidance of these cards, although they cannot take choices for you, is to take it. But you have the final word. Whether you take it or not, it is an opportunity that comes from you. And uh, with that said, guys, this is uh, going to do it. Hopefully you do enjoy the reading, Pisces, and uh, if so, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video, and hopefully we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.